What's going on guys, doing another box, 2012 Prism Baseball, 24 pack box, looking for those autographs, realistically looking for these Prism cards. Here are the odds, if you're interested in that, you can pause it. This is a box I just did, so, and as I've said in the other videos, I'm going three of this exact same type of box, 2012 Panini Prism Baseball, MLB PA licensed product, although no team logos are used. Anyway. If you're interested in more of these, I will have three different breaks posted, three different videos posted soon. So they're already up when you're watching this, and this is the last one, or they're coming very soon. 24 packs. There we go. It's crooked on the chair, so I'm on a bar stool. Not at a bar, but I am on a bar stool. It's a little tough here. And we're on bubble wrap. George Brett starting us off. Old oh, Reggie Jackson. Both packs are full. Why not? Ichiro. He was awesome. Shelby Miller. He's a top prospect. You know, he is a good young player. This is 2012, and he is already in the league. And he is Thomas, Middlebrooks. This is the third box I've done, even though it might not post that way. I pulled that Middlebrooks rookie in every box, so. Green Prism, Matt Holiday. Cardinal. What am I doing here? I'm mixing up my base cards. What in the world? Whatever. I'll handle it later. Man, all confused. Sorry about that. I will have this break done in under eight minutes. So, eight minutes or your money back. You can call my attorney and ask for your money. Pretty sure he didn't spend much to watch this. Right around zero dollars and zero cents. Thanks to YouTube. MVP. Team MVP, obviously. Kipnis. Come on, Panini. Got a few boxes. Hook me up with an autograph. I have some Hobby uh, 2014 Prism that will also be videoed and uploaded. So that actually guarantees autographs in every box, a couple of them. So that one could be fun. And there's more parallels, I believe. So check that one out. Ham Josh Hamilton Green. Get that shine there. Oh, it's so pretty. That's bad. I like the prisms a lot. I'm not much of a set collector. I mean, there's like subsets I do, like some autograph sets or something like that. Obviously, I collect all the Griffies and the Hall of Famers and stuff like that. So that's where the majority of my time, money, and effort goes into. But doing a set like the green prisms or the blue prisms or something, not all of them. That's a little overwhelming. Unless that's, you know, what your focus is. There's Kershaw, Team USA. Pretty cool. So, I mean, if that's your focus, that's one thing, but I think it'd be neat to have just like all green set. Which I believe there's 150 cards, like 50 rookies and 100 veterans, something like that. It says it on the back of the pack here. 150 card base set, 150 commons and 50 rookies. Well then that's 200 cards. Prism Baseball Features, 150 card base set, including 150 commons and 50 rookies. Well, that's 200 cards. 150 plus 50 is 200. So it's not a 150 card base set. It is a 200 card base set, because those rookies are also base cards. So, I'll help you with your math, Panini. You know. Feel free to uh, send me a check for my consultation fee for that math. Santana. I think he's kind of done with his career. That guy had some incredible years, but I don't know anymore. I don't think anybody has a ton of confidence in his arm anymore. He can still throw, but you know, he's not what he once was. Braun. George Brett. That side. Mm, Lolly. 
I will admit, if the logos were on some of these, especially the hats, because that looks a little odd, it would be nicer. But as I said in some other videos, since I have MLB PA license, I don't really care that much. There's a green prism in here because I can see the white. It's the back of the card. So, Chulo, green. And no autograph. That would have been cool though. Maybe next time. Bobby Gibson. Met him at the National Sports Card Show when I got his autograph on baseball. He was a, an interesting character, to say the least. I was at the front of the line for, for him and Randy Johnson, big unit, got their autographs and met him and stuff. Talked to them both. I always try to talk to the guys. Glavin, met a couple times uh, at signings. I've met Glavin outside of signings as well. I've never met Randy Johnson or Bob Gibson outside of signings. Uh, we got to pay to be there, so it's Max Fury, extra edition. But it's interesting hearing from those guys. Sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're standoffish. But when I actually talk, I try to have some sort of question plan. Nothing intense. I'm not interviewing the guy. Just, you know, bring up a memory, a moment, or something like that. But Bob Gibson essentially said that he used so many drugs he can't really remember like the late 60s when he was so dominant because I asked him about that and, you know, kind of said, like, how amazing was that? You know, just being the man in baseball, dominating, being the best World Series pitcher maybe ever. Although, 2014, we had a pretty good run for his money. But, bum garner. But still, I asked him that, and that's essentially what he told me was, you know, after drugs and all the years, uh, I don't have any memories from that. So, it doesn't really stand out in his head, he said. Which I thought was a very honest answer, which I appreciate, but very odd. Speaking of drugs, he was late to that signing because he and Doc Gooden, who I also met, Dwight, Doc Gooden, were out at uh, lunch or dinner or whatever it was before the signing, so that's why he was like half hour late. But I would love to hear the conversations they would have. Cannot imagine. And although he is an angel right now, two amazing Cardinals. That's it. That was 2012, so no autographs, but it's all good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did. If you didn't, let me know that too. Don't put thumbs down, because that's ridiculous. If you don't like me, you can uns unsubscribe. But uh, comment if you think the product's good, bad, whatever. Do you think it's improved with the 2014, which again, I'll have some videos of that. Or do you think it's awful, because they don't have those MLB logos and team names. So It doesn't really bother me that much. It would look a little nicer, but it really doesn't bother me. So. That is my opinion. I know not everybody agrees, so I just want to hear about it.